Greetings, everyone. We are coming to you live to not only talk about what we're doing as an organization during this pandemic, but also what we're doing as far as really reaching out to our customers to see exactly how we are weathering the storm. Today, we have the pleasure of having Dick Hansen today, and we wanted to just touch base to see what he's doing uh, within his organization and how they are weathering the storm. We're just going to kind of briefly talk about some uh, kind of pain points that we might have experienced and, and what we're looking for to really triumph going forward. So Dick, today, tell us a little bit about your business and what you're currently focusing on during this pandemic. Okay, well, as you know, uh, the, probably the week of uh, March the 9th uh, so it was our really last good week of business. And then shortly thereafter, everything started trending down and we've been we actually uh, uh, track that information on a daily basis and uh, make some assumptions for the company going out on a roll of 90 day uh, projections. Uh, so a lot going around on it. Just be because we are uh, the size we are and we're in three states, which is uh, North Florida, Alabama, and Georgia, uh, there's some uniquenesses in what's going on with the pandemic as far as how states are opening or trying to open or already open. So for us, a lot of it is we're just trying to stay in contact with our customers as much as possible to keep the communication open. Uh, so we really know how, what they need and what we can provide for them and how we can help them because this is, we're really in a true partnership at this time because as, as we've all seen the advertise, we are all in this together. We're, we're right. all suffering through this. So we're, we're trying to be the very best partner we can be. And, and they indeed are trying to work with us as well too. So I think for us, it, it's just, it's critical to stay in touch with your customer base, especially the major customers that are really impacting a large part of your business. You know, um, we're, we're basically getting inquiries every day on things of um, how we're going to service, how we're going to take care of cleaning, uh, getting some interest in some different products. I think right now, I think what we're seeing is some reactive issues going on right now mm -hmm. because of the pandemic. And I, I don't think it's so much unknown right now that yes, we really don't know what to do at this point in time. And, and we're pretty much there with them as well. So we're, we're just trying to help them where we can. For example, I would say things unusual. Uh, we are in office coffee business and we've gotten a lot of um, inquiries about how to get and stay away from the coffee pots to being poured. They want more of a touchless solution. Um, there are some things like wrapped products, uh, wrapped stir sticks that people are looking for. Uh, that are not common today. So um, uh, there are some changes in how people are uh, consuming beverages. I see some different changes in it. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's just something we've continued to track. No, I, ideally, like you said, it's kind of going forward in uncharted territory where we're having to kind of accept the new normal, right? So essentially, like you said, you would almost imagine that the demand for this touchless um, technology would be at the forefront. And, and that's one of the things here at 365, we really stayed above the curve on that, um, where we introduced this technology, where we're able to use um, our devices, such as the Beacon, where you have that efficient, convenient, and now more of a, um, a little bit more, I think, of a, prefer a preferred way to uh, make purchases, you know, all by the click of your phone. So having those type of technologies and information about that to relate to your customers, we're only anticipating that that's going to help um, lessen uh, that hesitation and kind of bring folks back into the fold of their day-to-day -day operations. Um, but that's definitely something that we know as an organization, we have really pushed um, to not only let our customers know, but ultimately who you all service as well, that we have your safety at the forefront of our, you know, of, of our concerns. And then not only that, we have the technology in place um, for that. So I think that's why that optimism we have, because we were able, like I said, to um, uh, 
create that type of technology. Unfortunately, with everything going on, it's now at the forefront, but th that puts 365 at a place to really um, change the industry in, in how we, we do business. And that's why it's so important having partnerships with you all and understanding what our technology can do so that at the end of the day, we can get to that consumer, we can get, get it there safely. Um, because like you said, it's a, a new normal and we kind of have to change the way we go about doing things. As you mentioned, people are consuming beverages very different now. There's going to be a, a huge hesitation, you know, of, of wanting to, you know, uh, know if I can, if I get this coffee, am I going to be putting myself in jeopardy? So um, having information from um, 365, not only about our touch, touchless technology, but also the importance of our safety and care, how you can clean and sanitize and, and different things of that nature. Nature, um, to ensure uh, just the well-being of not only our our products but ultimately um, how we go forward and like I said our day-to-day -day. Um, so yeah I definitely enjoy hearing that you have had those conversations and it seems like that's kind of sculpting a little bit of, of, of where you guys are headed and it's glad to see that we're aligned in that and we're definitely your partners and making sure that we get that because you hit it right on the money. We're in this together. <laughs> this is something completely uh, unprecedented, but I think um, having the, 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 same, um, the same mission and that's just to maintain the safety and the care of our customers, I think that's gonna help us push through. So if you could share with me, Dick, is there anything that you've done out of the norm uh, uh, quite differently to keep your sanity? I know here in Michigan, we are definitely sheltered in. So I have been inside, indoors, um, but I do have a pretty uh, large family. So I have family across in Denver and, and all across the state and I have friends all over the state. So I had to celebrate a huge milestone birthday. But also one thing I've been doing, I'm not sure if you're familiar with Top Chef, um, we have been doing challenges, cooking challenges amongst my family, and I was not aware that my parents were that competitive. <laughs> so those are some of the things we've done. Just like we're talking now, we, we do it via Zoom. So um, it's quite interesting. I can't taste everything, but uh, we have some harsh critics <laughs> for visual appearance. <laughs> what about your something? Well, uh, I, I'm very small myself uh and um uh, my partner uh, uh the young lady that i live with uh, uh, we are uh, uh pretty much shut in by ourselves but i do have four brothers okay and she does have two that she we talk to on a regular basis they we all live i live in florida i live in pensacola oh uh, I'm very familiar <laughs> yeah we are shut in um you know not, don't really go out that much i do uh, I take every afternoon at four, four fifteen. I got a little four mile trek that I go walk, and I've done that. I've been very religious with that and staying on that task and doing it. I'd say the most unusual thing for us is, um, I've gone through five bottles of propane gas on my grill. I've cooked every. I've cooked breakfast, lunch, and dinner on the grill. <laughs> Pizza. I've made breakfast. I've made. I did a pot roast on the grill. So I mean, I've done some, some uh, unique things, but it's kept me outside. Where, unfortunately, we've had some really good, very nice weather. Of and course. So those are some things that's just a, you know a, a little different from where we were. But you know. Well, it's good to keep things going and um i wish i could take that trek to pensacola and you get that good barbecue going <laughs> well they are opening the beaches friday that's what i was going to ask so I know they're doing a slow phase right yeah. and that is that is uh from uh 30 minutes before sunset or before sunrise and 30 minutes after sunset with no restrictions other than uh 10 people um, the max you can have is 10 people and then you have to be six weight, six feet away from me. And I'm a, I'm, I'm a beach person. I love the beach. Sure. This is, this is going to be fantastic. It's just gives you a little bit of sanity back is what it does. You yeah. Know? And I think that's what it's going to be just a slow phase and a gradual phase, um, and, and doing what you can to maintain your sanity. Um, but ultimately, like I said, we at three, six, five want to ensure that we're doing what we can and we're keeping that connection and rapport with you all so that we can not only assist in this challenging time, we together can come out triumphant and we can come out on the other side, come out better. Because we are better well, together. <laughs> I'm extremely happy with the way 365 has reacted with some of the programs they put in knowing 
uh, the critical stages we were in. And we're very fortunate to have the, um, my, my contact, John Floyd, has been fantastic to deal with. And, uh, and we've had a lot of conversations about touches. We've had some accounts want to go touch us. I think, again, as we are transitioning, we're going to try to get over to entirely to ADM as soon as possible to take advantage of you know, the touchless opportunities we have. So um, I, I think, uh, uh, in my mind, 365 is a great partner for us. And uh, it's it's proven so the way they reacted to uh, uh, the pandemic and what they've done for their customer base is just, I think, has been fantastic. So. So that is fantastic for us to hear. And we want to continue going on forward and continue progress at partnership with you. That that helps us to all become just greater um, in the end. So I want to thank you so much today for taking the time out. Um, hopefully we were able to uh, accomplish a few things here. And that's really just kind of check on you and see how things were going. So thank you so much for your time. And I am going to go ahead and sign off. And uh, any information as well, we'll be able to go ahead and um, get that to you. We are definitely a resource. Please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you so much, Dick, for your time. We really appreciate you at 365.